9th standard have a good day now we are continuing our 15th video with reference to revision for midterm test okay that uh, video 15 is our continuation of the lesson now i am just presenting some pictures with the explanation that is animal kingdom diversity of living organism and for uh, revision you should go through the lesson line by line plus at the end of this session we will discuss some questions and as it is given in the portion it is only objective type where you have to write the answer and uh, it is as fill up the blanks choose the correct answer as i call mcq some figure based question and uh, one one line sentence or two lines or two points questions will be there i am sure you have prepared well in the time the link here well use panadu please write well all the best okay now next one what you are saying is the classification what is it arranging organisms into groups on the basis of similarities and differences what is it said actually classification is based on these two characters only so it is as similarities and differences and as i said earlier ferulus linnaeus he is considered as father of modern taxonomy whereas aristotle he considered he is considered as father of taxonomy sorry yeah. and earlier we were following or even present day we were we are following carolus linnaeus system of classification at the same time there is a five kingdom classification proposed to by wittaker or is wittaker and he classified these plants and animals based on their structure mode of nutrition and the basis of their living as five kingdom classification as kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia this is a classification otherwise five kingdom classification proposed to by rh wittaker and as you can what is classification it is arranging organism into groups on the basis of similarities and differences and it is aristotle considered as father of taxonomy and carolus linnaeus he is considered as <coughs> father of modern taxonomy are you clear huh? and then next one as it is hierarchy of classification idla nan nariye solliruken irundalum ne group pannikku hierarchy of classification spelling hierarchy ke pare h i e r a r c h y hierarchy of classification as kingdom phylum class order family genus and species sariya so na pa idu base panni the organisms they were named and they were given names and it is mainly as binomial nomenclature naming of an organism is called nomenclature when it is using two names as genus name the plus genus name and species name it is called binomial nomenclature okay now based on this one question par the process of giving scientific names to plants and animals is called the dash what are we to say the process of giving scientific names to plants and animals is called nomenclature answer is nomenclature okay the next one according to binomial nomenclature every name 
comprises two words according to binomial nomenclature every name comprises two words what are they they are genus and species i repeat according to binomial nomenclature every name comprises two words genus and species these kingdom phylum class order family genus species these are all every one of them is called taxa t a x a the unit of hierarchy of classification is called taxa seriya so adile the basic unit of biological classification is what idu patta idu pat chellu the basic unit of biological classification it is the species seriya now which is the taxa or unit of classification between class and family enna sollano it is order class ku family ku edeyil irukkadhu peru order andha maari unakku answer theriya solla theriyuma seriya then five kingdom classification was given by rs whitaker five kingdom classification was given by rs whitaker then the prokaryotes are included under kingdom monera ad adutha varai five kingdom sollum bodu nama detailed ah onnu 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 nu solluvom so the prokaryotes are included under kingdom monera seriya and then the whole classification it is as normally plants and animal kingdom they are classified like this i hope you understand hmm? now this is about classification of kingdom animalia nam und basis of characters padichirukkomle based on level of organization it is as cellular level and tissue or organ organ system and then their next criteria it is symmetry symmetry la three types sorry symmetry la two types asymmetrical and symmetrical and the symmetrical we have learnt it as radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry radial symmetry ena solirpom the arrangement of body parts which can be cut at any plane to get to equal halves that is called hmm, that is known as radial symmetry whereas when the animal can be cut at definite plane to get to equal halves that is known as bilateral symmetry that is for the symmetry criteria the next one is body cavity or coelom as body cavity na ena solirke when the body is cut open we find viscera of the body viscera na internal organ the body cut open solirke inda adu nadula viscera or organ internal organs will be present and the space between the viscera and the body cavity it is filled with the tissues and fluid they are called coelom and this coelom in lower in vertebrates they are just tissues so they are called pons coelom or no coelom at all when there is no coelom they are as a coelomate animal when there is pons coelom they are pseudo coelomate animals and when the true coelom is present with the body cavity filled with the fluid it is known as eucelomate animals seriya then based on this the phylum they are classified as cellular level phylum porifera then uh, tissue grade la first radial symmetry it is cylindrate it is cylindrate then it is cylindrate it is also known as nidaria and then based on the coelom a coelomate 
phylum platyhelminthes pseudocelomae phylum ashelminthes and eucelomae there are few phyla phylum annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata sir so, yeah. and then the given figure is for symmetry first is asymmetrical l sponges second one radial symmetry example hydra where the animals can be cut at any plane to get two equal halves then third one it is bilateral symmetry where animal has to be cut only at definite plane this is asymmetrical radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry i hope you could follow this figure nalla paathukku the plane da nee paakra hydra la ella radius la plane cut aayirukku adha you have to observe okay then this is figure that is given in our textbook that is acelomae pseudocelomae and celomae animals acelomae la inge irukku par nadula digestive tract இதெல்லாம் நோ சீலம் மட்டும் இந்த டிஷு கிடையாது இந்த ஆரோவல கட்டலாம் டிஷு கிடையாது வேற இதுல சூடோ சீலமேட்ல இந்த பிங்க்குக்கும் எல்லோக்கும் நடுவில் ஒரு வெள்ளை இருப்பர் ஒயிட் தட் இஸ் ஆஸ் மீசன் கைமல் செல்ஸ் தே ஆர் ஃபால்ஸ் சீலம் வேற தி தேர்ட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் ஒயிட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டிங் த ட்ராக்ட் தட் இஸ் மெசன்ரி okay so this picture explains acelomate pseudocelomate and eucelomate animals idilla edavadhu one diagram varaya kandipa kekve you should know the diagram so moonu diagram labeling oda correct ah paathukku you have to use only circle or compass which is circle tool okay then this one is binomial normal creature ipo thane padichom carolus linnaeus he is considered as the father of taxonomy and he was the first one to propose binomial normal creature where naming two words using generic name and specific name is called binomial normal creature example amoeba binomial is amoeba proteus man binomial is homo sapiens spelling pathuko correct okay the next one is kingdom animalia it is classified into vertebrates and invertebrates for invertebrates they are as phylum protozoa example amoeba phylum porifera example sponges phylum cilentrata example hydra phylum platyhelminthes example flatworm phylum nematoda or ashelminthes example roundworm phylum annelida example earthworm phylum arthropoda example cockroach phylum mollusca example apple snail or snail cellula phyla globosa and phylum echinodermata it is starfish okay and phylum chordata it is a uh, transitory stage it's called prochordata where it has subclass eurochordata hemichordata and cephalochordata and then phylum chordata this is for classification now it is on the picture showing phylum porifera where this is cycon cycon picture and then this uh, sponge is on idilla theriyum there okay whereas one sponge is you have to see one minute one minute check this mail you okay so now phylum come on the analyte on the number i will show you the picture okay phylum one nimisham mail for okay one minute 
as we are with the phylum porifera i showed i will show the picture again phylum porifera example sponges then phylum uh, platyhelminth phylum cilantrata example hydra and jellyfish phylum platyhelminth is tapeworm phylum as helminth is it is round worm and then what you are seeing now is phylum arthropoda where here identify the following pictures of arthropods where it has this is scorpion this is spider cockroach crab and prawn these are all having jointed foot jointed legs okay then on this one is phylum mollusca where it is characterized by the presence of muscular foot is a muscular foot and it is covered with the nectary cellula it is the spiral shell and the spiral shell it is formed of hard calcareous mantle and inside that is the structure called mantle cavity by putting forth this muscular foot this uh, apple snail will move very slowly and this is chippy shunole muscle chuluva idu or fish saapradla idayum saapradla so phylum mollusca they are characterized by unsegmented soft bodied animal they are always aquatic or aquatic form marine or freshwater very few are terrestrial and it shows bilateral symmetry it has head muscular foot and visceral mass then mantle or calcareous shell is the characteristic feature of this phylum then respiration is by gills it is called tinidia or it can be by lungs also an animal is characterized by unsegmentation okay now this is phylum echinodermata last phylum in invertebrates and it is having pentamerous or five arms with the radial symmetry and the body organization it is multicellular and with the ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and then it is having a tube feet idotle idu and starfish idu and sea lily type then the dorsal side la und top la und starfish und indha mari sora sora nu irukum pinnadi und indha arm la narrow cut rendu adula und it has tube feet characteristic for water vascular system seriya the next phyla hemicordata with the marine soft wormy form na and the turtle mari irukum adod end of the animal body vand turtin irukum adu per wormy form unsegmented bilateral and cilomate they are usually having actually notochord irukana but here in this hemicordata it is absent and it is a ciliary feeder appadina it is a usually marine form solirukonla so marine la vende nariya uppu thanniyoda soil particle um varum so andha mari irukirathu the cilia da will filter it so it is called ciliary feeder okay same way for phylum eurocordata and cephalocordata class vertebrata la vende Uh, it is cyclostome ne or a special type which has jawless vertebrate and then class species amphibia reptilia apes and mammals where we have tabular column cardre with the we will study the characteristic features so cardata la vande presence of notochord triploblastic and coelomate two groups ipo naan sonna illa eurocardata and cephalocardata vertebrate vand in the classification then in the characters of all the five classes of vertebrate they are as exoskeleton and pisses ku scale amphibian moist skin dry reptiles ku dry horny skin so apes vand feathers mammalia skin for a hair 
respiration gills gills tadpole tadpole stage la gills and lungs reptiles in medium only lungs na and aves la rendu lungs with the air sacs then heart with the two chambered heart in glass pieces with one atrium and one ventricle idula rendu two atrium and one ventricle amphibiola three chambered heart and uh, two atrium and two ventricle in reptilia but it is incompletely divided aves la aves and mammals four chambered heart seriya an excretion all of them they go by kidney as a excretory organ and reproduction is uh, pieces like the aves for you they are oviparous animal that is egg laying animals class mammalia except platypus and anteater it is viviparous viviparous na giving birth to young ones i hope you understand these are the characters of phylum chordata seriya now i'll try to show the first three pictures also adha mattu ni paaru i hope you understand hmm? thank you we'll continue in the next session